Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. In this tutorial, I am going to deal with the JDBC using GUI application. So here, I am going to create the GUI application, right? In our last class, we saw how to call the store procedure, right? Uh, before the class, we saw how to create the store procedure. In this class, I am going to teach the GUI application with store procedure, right? So here, I have already created, uh, I have a, the same uh, project, I am going to create another new others select application window next we have a g uh, g uh, j d b c g o i just click that right whatever name you can give right? this is a name so you can see the click the design part you can have a design like this right so here first what i'm going to do is here you have to expand the size a little bit here select this one right click Select layout, absolute layout, right, now set it. Now we have to create a find, right? So we have to name it as a first label, label over here, go to structure, we have to name it as simple store procedure. Uh, stores. Here, this stops here. Stop right. Now, here you have to increase the font size a little bit. Like this one. With bold 22, click OK. Uh, if it is so feel it is not in increased, you have to increase a little bit 33. Right. I feel it's, it will be OK. Now, I I need to have one panel. You just drag and drop the panel. This panel we have to give the uh, enter the uh, author's ID in order to view the employee details, right? So here we need one label, the label label. So here also, if you are uh, inside the panel, select right click. Here also select a set absolute label. Then only you will be able to drag and drop okay label here we have to the name it as this one should be the author id author id check this one font size bold 50 drag one text field Now here we have to drag the employee details. So select same thing. Uh, hold on the shift key, uh, down and select both. Control C, copy, Control V to paste and get another copy. Again, you have Control C, copy, Control V to paste and get another copy. Okay, instead of creating here. So here what I did here is, uh, you have to change the name. Select this one. The name I'm going to change it as author name. It should be author name. This one should be, oh sorry, this one should be author first name. F name, first enter key, first name. This one should be author last name. Last name, first enter key. Right, that's it. First name and last name, you have to put it like this. Right, now what I'm going to, I need one button. We have to drag one button. Okay. Here we this button we are called as search. Right. Now if I enter the relevant account ID, the uh, relevant information will be displayed here. Okay. So what I did here is so select uh, the first what I'm going to do is go to the source. First, you have to put it there. Import Java dot. Sorry, import Java dot SQL. Right, you have to import the packet right? Import. Sorry, Java. What's the problem? Import. Already. 
import java dot sql so okay, what's the problem again yeah, the problem is here right now it's okay now what i'm going to see the name set which will be recite all the sql classes here for the ascii okay after that what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to go to the same thing find the same thing i just copy and paste it over here the same code uh this is a connection right so the same code i have to put into the button the same code i hold explain it in my last tutorial so the same code so you have to go to the select the button event key sorry not key action action perform so how to put it here so let me put the same code uh, what we are done in the uh, console the same code i just copy it and paste it over here right now it asks to create the connection object so let me create it above simply here the connection con we have to import the name set import java dot sql packet actually you have to write it down okay i have to write it here okay import java dot sql this name is relevant name space for uh, writing the sql classes if you are putting this asterisk we will be able to access all the sql classes right this is not a error select this one surround with the try and catch the same thing control x to cut off and read the paste within, within, within the try box this one also we have clicked on click on this one uh you have a, this one catch you have the catch it now the error go away the simple part we have to very simple all right now let's look at the design the design right now what i'm going to say if i enter the here we have select this one we have named the check uh, text fields right this one txt aid me aid this one txt a f name this one txt L name. Right. Now what I'm going to do is like double click on this one. Uh, now okay. Now first what I'm going to say, we have to what is the ID we are typing here? It the relevant the result should be displayed over here. So first we have to assign the relevant variable. So first you write you have to put it as int employee author ID author ID equal you have to pass integer dot pass int you have to write together id what is the text field txt a id dot get text what is the id of typing on this particular text field it will be passing to the relevant variable this id so this id we have to pass it here control this id we have to pass it here instead of the two we have to pass it here here we have to write instead of set string we have to type as set int set int because here also what is the method you are calling you are putting here right that's the thing you have to do that's the stuff you have to do right, right. that's the only thing you have to do it will be working right now let's the result should be not passing to the console we are passing here well, let's be tested at the console whether it's working fine or not Working. So, working now i need the result passing need to be here so what how to do the last case here we have to this one we have to comment it no need them instead of that we have right here uh txt a f name a f name dot uh, get text set text set text here we have to write the name okay uh, what's the value we have to uh, get it okay here this one 
So we are right here, this one, we have to put it like this. Right. The same thing, control C, copy, control V to paste here. So third one, three. Here you have to write, L name. Right. L name, I saw wrong. Huh? Fine, check whether it's working fine or not. One, here it's working perfectly. Two, it's working. Three, there will be no record at all. Right. It's working fine. This is how we have to uh, we have to find the record using stop procedure. Uh, let's we make it the heading as find record. Here we have to go here, we have to change this uh, text as find record, store, using find store procedure. Find record using store procedure, JDBC. Okay, this is ready. This is very important program for your exam and everything, JDBC. You must learn this one. This very important stuff. Okay, when if you are want to learn store procedure step by step, it's very important stuff for you all to learn uh, Java. But very simple. Okay, it's, it's not that much of uh, hard. I hope. Okay. There's a thing here. Right. Simple stuff. We have it. Okay. Now let's this the stuff. watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime uh, this all the code I provide in my website I already explained this how the uh, system works in my uh, how the finding work in my uh, last tutorial if you are not understand again I have uh, I have uh, explaining first we have to register my SQL driver this is the connection path we have created the database which name is ABC library this is the database name it is uh, running on the local host uh, what is the database we have created the uh, store procedure called authors if you look at the store procedure then how to create the store procedure I have I have a video right in my video is coming you will be able to watch it this is a store procedure we have created the name authors right so no name we have to pass in the three uh, question mark right so here this one should be first one should be the in uh, second and third will be the out. So, okay, in we have to provide the ID. Okay, the relevant ID information will be displayed out over here. So, we have to write like this. Out, we have to register the register out parameters. We have to register and we have to view it. In prepare statement, we have to call execute.update. In here, callable statement, we have to call execute only. Right? Callable statement, statement, uh, statement by, uh, you have to write the program. Uh, when you are writing store procedure, you have to write callable statement. You can't write a write as a prepare statement. Callable statement, you are not that. It's a uh, pre uh, predefined method called prepare call. Prepare statement, prepare statement. Here, pre prepare call. Right. After we execute, we get all the values and it passes the relevant text. Right? This is a simple way we have to write write the store procedure. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt on this, you can ask me anytime. If you like my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.